There are people who've been here from the beginning and the, the culture that brings and the, the history that brings instills a sense of pride in the whole organisation. And it's fantastic to see how these ships, these magnificent complex defence assets can inspire an organisation and conspire a whole lot of people to deliver. The people who I've worked with over the past 10 years, or more than 10 years, the fruits of their efforts will be out there till the 2050s. And thousands upon thousands of sailors will serve in the things they've created. Building these three lethal warships is the biggest challenge the government could take on. And we've built that from a brownfield site through to three air warfare destroyers in around 10 years. That is a massive challenge and it's been done by the people of the Air Warfare Destroyer Alliance. When that ship is the first of class, it is truly a momentous occasion. But to get her to this point, there's been a feat of imagination, engineering, logistics and administration. On behalf of Navy, I thank all of those teams of skilled and dedicated people who've contributed to the build, the construction and the integration of the parts from keel laying through to this day the launch. We are very fortunate to be here to witness this launch of the third ship of the new class of air warfare destroyers. These are powerful, elegant ships that will serve Australia as a key part of our fleet for decades to come. A fleet that will be agile, lethal, strong and intelligent. In serving Australia, I'm sure that this ship will carry out the proud record of those previous ships called Sydney to join her sister ships Hobart and Brisbane in their natural environment at sea. You're seeing something go from a concept right through to a product. And this is the most sophisticated product you could imagine. We've developed a workforce uh, practically from nothing. We've got a very advanced shipyard, uh, arguably the best in the world. There's so many people, over 5,000 people involved in, in directly contacting the work around the Destroyer program. But that's not to mention all the supply chain people who've had a hand in making this a reality. I can influence change to help the sailors be safe at sea. The whole place has grown as a result of being part of this program. Well, what you find on this program is no matter what coloured shirt someone is wearing, they are committed to delivering a solid product to the Navy. We've proven and demonstrated a capability on this program and I think we need to pride ourselves on that and carry that forward for decades to come. The design effort is not just limited to you know, crafting steel into ships, it's crafting systems to deliver effects. And those systems include people, because after all, the ship is only as good as the crew that serves in it. And the people who are part of shipbuilding are part of that journey with us. You, the workforce, are the true national asset and capability that the AWD program has created. From pipe fitters to welders, administrators, project managers, procurement officers and system engineers. The unique knowledge and skills and lessons you have learnt will be vital to the success of our future shipbuilding projects and for Australia. We can always sort of bounce off each other for ideas and also learn off each other and I think that's the thing I found the most beneficial. I've been given lots of different opportunities across different teams, all of the, the different parts and pieces of the puzzle that need to come together to be able to deliver three ships. This is people coming from all sorts of different backgrounds. They bring their own experiences. Basically cross-pollinations work very well so they've challenge the status quo and all these preconceived ideas that we got from more experienced people in the field and we've come up with things that have been really surprising to everyone.
Never before has the country embarked on integrating so many advanced sensors and systems into a, a warship. We take a system that's been built and you get to see the product come to life. We prove that we can build ships in Australia from start to finish. We can prove we can build the ships, design the combat system, install it, commission it. We've been through the whole life cycle, so I think that's a, a very proud thing to be putting forward. The combat system itself, being the Aegis combat system, it's one of the most capable combat systems in the world. In terms of explosive ordnance, just extraordinary range of options available to the warfighter. The situational awareness that that gives to uh, the people on board the ship so that they can use the weapon systems to affect what's going on in that airspace is amazing. I think that's what makes the ship truly lethal, but also very flexible and adaptable. It brings an all-round surface combatant. The more than 5,000 people that have worked on this program over the last 14 years should be immensely proud of the capability that they have delivered to the Royal Australian Navy. I'm proud of walking into the shipyard every day and knowing that we are delivering a capability that's going to help protect our nation for you know, three decades or more to come. I just feel that when people look back at the big picture of this project, I think it'll become a benchmark of how well a project works. I think the success of the test program for the three ships and the capability that we've provided really does uh, stand us in good stead for continuous shipbuilding going forward. So many shipyards around the world have been established for hundreds of years in some cases and, and we've grown in the last 10 years from no shipyard at all to producing some of the most complex warships in the world. And the fact that we've all been on that journey together and that we've had an opportunity to start pretty much from scratch allows you to design and build a shipyard purpose built for today's modern warships. A lot of the older shipyards are constrained by what they already had in place. So we've been on a journey in the last 10 years from, from pretty much nothing to a shipyard that produces world class ships. That knowledge and experience is going to be vital going forward, being able to do that with these new classes of ship that we're going to be producing in the future. We've also driven an evolution which has seen defence and industry working together as a fundamental input into capability. The thousands of you that have architected, designed, integrated, built and tested these ships Thank you. Thank you also to your families and your friends, for I know it's only with the support that you as a workforce have been able to achieve this significant milestone in our program. talk to the people who have built this ship and put it together. They're very proud of what they've done. And I'm very proud of what they've done. I think that's what building ships is all about in Australia is these things have national significance. This thing has a life.